Hello everyone, it's Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars, and today I'm coming right back at you with another spectacular vehicle. It's not a car, it's not a boat, it is both. That's right, I'm sitting behind the wheel of a 1962 Ampicar 770 that's been fully restored to show quality condition. You've got to check this out. To start off this uh, video here, this is a non-rehearsed video. Uh, there's going to be a lot of information that I do forget, so please visit our website at msclassiccars.com for a complete description with a ton of highly detailed photos. If you have or have not been following MS Classic Cars, please note that I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. We've been doing that since inception. I'm very proud to say we're the only classic car dealership in the country that services everything that we sell and we document that work with an invoice. As an example, with this new binder that I have here today, which I do for every single vehicle, first and foremost is our invoice, which clearly goes over all the work that we did, which totaled 10,857 cents. Again, you can read this in our photo gallery. Once the vehicles are done being serviced. We spend countless hours detailing these vehicles from top to bottom to make them look as beautiful as you see here today. Once the vehicle is purchased, I personally will handle all the paperwork. I will assist with all the enclosed transportation. And once the vehicle is loaded inside the enclosed trailer, I will even cover it with a brand new plastic cover to ensure that it arrives as beautiful uh, at your doorstep as it was here today at the dealership. So I would ask to please do your homework on MS Classic Cars. Now, to tell the quick story, about my discovery of Ampa car, uh, not too long ago, I was at a Barrett Jackson auction selling a collection uh, in West Palm Beach, Florida. And there was one parked uh, right across the way in the building. It was red. It was in beautiful condition. I probably spent all of an hour walking around it, checking it out, learning about it, talking to the person that had it there uh, and so forth. And I was absolutely blown away by how cool it was to have something back from this time frame that actually could drive on land and uh, be used as a boat in the water and so forth. Absolutely awesome. I actually watched it sell and it brought a really uh, strong price. It sold with the fee for $161,700. And uh, ever since I saw it sell, I've been really paying close attention to them. Uh, the last one that was on Bring a Trailer, which was actually the same color as this one with the fee sold for $148,000. Uh, so I really made it a mission to find one that was restored uh, to the high quality that we look here uh, at MS Classic Cars. And I finally found this one, which I actually had seen for sale about maybe two years ago. The gentleman pulled it off the market and uh, had relisted it. I just happened to catch it at the right time, bought it immediately, and here it is today. So if you go online, uh, look at ones that have sold, look at ones that are currently for sale. You will clearly agree uh, that most of them are not restored to a high level. Uh, most of them are just average at best. This particular one here definitely can go toe to toe with the red one that I had seen down at Barrett Jackson. It is absolutely beautiful. I'll let the photos do the rest of the talking. Uh, so 
What I'd like to do here, and I apologize if this is boring, my point is to be educational and to uh, go over as much as I can for somebody who might be interested in purchasing this vehicle. So I apologize if it is a little bit boring at times, but again, it's not for entertainment purposes. This is so somebody can get as much information to make sure they make a good decision in their purchase. So what I've done is I've written this paragraph here, which you can find on our website, uh, that kind of just goes over some of the history. And again, this particular vehicle here. So this fabulous 1962 Ampicar 770 was the product of a nut and bolt restoration that was completed to show quality standards. The Ampicar 770 was built by the Ampicar Corporation in Germany from 1961 to 1968. The total production was 3,878. That's all that they made in the total production of all those years. Of those, 3,046 uh, were imported to the United States between 1961 and 1967. The Ampicar is the only civilian amphibious passenger automobile ever to be mass produced. All Ampicars are convertibles and the civilian models were originally offered in four colors. We have beach sand white, regatta red, lagoon blue, and Ford green. The backbone of the Ampicar's electrics is basically a Lucas 12 volt positive ground system with certain items such as a horn, lighting, and switches made by other manufacturers such as Hella or Bosch. The Ampicar is rear engined and uses a four cylinder British built Triumph Herald motor. The Ampicar has a top speed of seven miles per hour on the water and 70 miles per hour on land, hence, it was dubbed Model 770. The Ampicar is moved through the water by its twin nylon propellers. A special two-part land and water transmission built by Herms, which by the way is the makers of the Porsche transmission, allows the wheels and propellers to be operated either independently or simultaneously. The land transmission is a four-speed plus reverse unit similar to those found in old Volkswagen Beetles. The water transmission is a two-speed offering unique to the Ampicar featuring single forward and reverse gears. In the water, the front wheels act as the rudders. In 1968, no AMPA cars were directly imported to the U.S. because the U.S. government, EPA, and DOT regulations went into effect for all 1968 model year vehicles. This caused a financial disaster for the AMPA car corporation since the USA represented 90% of the AMPA car sales. The Ampicar factory in Berlin, Germany closed for good in 1968 and all the remaining inventory of unused parts eventually were purchased by Hugh Gordon of Santa Fe Springs, California. Hugh's Gordon Imports remains the Ampicar's only primary source for spare parts. The Ampicar continues to appear in print, movies, museums, and clubs such as the International Ampicar Owners Club. This example here was with its last owner in Michigan for 17 years before it was acquired by MS Classic Cars in July of 22. It carries both an automobile title and also a marine title. Some extras uh, are included, such as the convertible top uh, boot. The, this cover here that's on the back has a boot that is included. It has a car cover. It has the jack tool. It's got three life jackets, one lifesaver, and one rowing oar. So that kind of goes over uh, everything about this particular uh, vehicle and some of the history and stuff like that. Um, I really like, uh, this is the last thing I'm going to read from this, this page here, is a quote from the International Amp by Cars Owner's Car website, which I just think is really cool. So the, I'll refer to it as the IAOC, is a group of Ampa car owners and like mind enthusiasts who truly enjoy this unique vehicle. Being only civilian mass produced amphibious vehicle, you would think if 3,900 vehicles roughly is mass produced, it's in the world. It provides owners with a unique driving and boating experience. Even though it wasn't a great car or a great boat, it is truly one of a kind. They go on to say here that the IAOC has been an ongoing source of history, uh, technical support, and vehicle information to members and the general public. Through the club's website newsletters, we hope to share the spirit of the Ampa car and make new ownership uh, an exciting adventure. Our regional and national swim-ins offer members the opportunity to share their cars, meet with owners, discuss technical and restoration issues, and mostly importantly, create lifelong friendships. The owners of an Ampa car are truly unique breed because 
unlike any collector cars, they don't care about how much horsepower it has. We will admire all the chrome on the car. We talk about swimming with our cars and fun experiences we have when we take our cars into the water. We embrace the unique aspects of our half car, half boat. We enjoy sharing our cars by raising money for local charities while providing the public with once in a lifetime experience to go for a ride in a car that floats. So again, I thought that was really cool. Um, again, you can go on the internet, you can check out all this information here. These are extremely rare. They're very, very unique in what they do. Um, we are going to actually tie in uh, a video of this particular vehicle here swimming, which is great. I'm going to actually just kind of go over the outside, go over the interior a little bit here, talk about uh, the front compartment and the engine compartment, a little bit about the undercarriage, and then we'll roll into me starting it so you can listen to how beautiful it runs, and then we'll tie in the swimming video toward the end. Uh, so let's talk about the outside. Um, so as I had said earlier, uh, when I was at the Barrett Jackson auction, I was looking at that red car that I had sold. I was pretty impressed with the body because these from the factory were not perfect. Uh, they weren't super expensive. They weren't done to super high standards. And I was really impressed with the overall fit and finish of that particular vehicle. And again, I would say this one is equally as nice. Um, these doors here do open and close really nicely uh, on both sides. Um, the convertible top on this particular one here fits beautiful. One of the things I noticed are, are the tops on these can be a little bit wrinkly. Uh, some of them are really bad in the corners. You will see in our photo gallery uh, pictures with the top up. Uh, it is in really, really beautiful condition, brand spanking new. And again, it fits super tight. When you look at the quality of the paint on this vehicle, again, this is the original color green that this vehicle was born with. It is a beautiful color. Uh, from what I've gathered, it's one of the more desirable colors. Uh, again, spectacular. When you look at all of the uh, work that was done to the outside, uh, such as this windshield here, this is brand new. Um, I believe the side glass was brand new. Uh, again, it's in beautiful, beautiful condition. All the glass, all of the rubber seals, the wipers, uh, the uh, nautical horn, the uh, navigation lighting system, the headlights, um, all of the emblems and everything on this vehicle, even the chrome bumpers on the back are in beautiful shape. Um, it sits on the correct 13-inch uh, steel wheels that were painted in that really unique uh, yellow shade, if you will. Uh, they've got the chrome hubcaps that say Ampacar right in the center. At MS Classic Cars, we actually put uh, a brand new set of tires on this car. The ones that were on there, uh, we just thought were a little bit too old for someone to uh, use and, and use safely. Uh, so again, we put on Cooker uh, Classic White Wall. They're six and a half by 13. Uh, they're brand, again, brand new tires. Um, again, everything on the exterior of this vehicle is in beautiful condition, definitely would be show quality. When we look at the interior, um, this is the only one that I have actually seen because a lot of the interior 
colors are different depending on what people do. I thought this interior was absolutely gorgeous, how they marry the outside. It's a perfect uh, combination here. Uh, so when you look, uh, first thing I'll mention here is the sun visors. They're in beautiful shape. They're brand new, brand new rear view mirror. The dashboard was painted beautifully, same color as the exterior. It's got the original um, moto meter gauges uh, that these vehicles actually came with. They're all in working order. Uh, there's a diagram inside this binder here, which is really nice. The gentleman that I bought this from actually had done a nice diagram here of all of the uh, dash controls. So he's got the boat lights, the wipers, uh, there's a choke here, heater control, uh, parking lights, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So this is really nice for the new owner to know exactly where everything is. And again, everything is in working order, such as the wipers, the horn, and all of that. Um, again, all the knobs are in beautiful condition. This glove box here opens and closes really nicely. Um, the steering wheel's in beautiful condition. All of the upholstery work includes these door panels, which fit really nice. The kicker panels, um, the seats themselves, these are two uh, full bench seats, front and rear. Um, again, all the hardware in here, I'm talking about the window rollers, the door handles. Uh, again, everything in here is beautiful. The floors, these are like kind of a rubber material on the floors. You'll clearly see all of our interior photos, how beautiful it is. There's even a fire extinguisher that's been mounted underneath the dash. Check out our dash um, photos that show the underneath side of it and look at some other examples that you'll see. You'll clearly see the difference of how nice everything is. When you make your way into the actual uh, front of the vehicle, that's where you're gonna find your fuel tank. This one here is so clean. All the wiring is clean. The fuel tank is black. They put some really cool stickers on there. There's a, a cover that goes over the spare tire. It's like a gray color. That's a beautiful cover. Um, the tire is in excellent condition. Again, it's a matching spare. Again, as I mentioned earlier, it does have its jack tool. Um, so spend some time and look at all of that. When you look at the engine compartment, what we did with our photos is we actually took uh, the cover, because the cover kind of sits like this, if you will. We actually took it off so we can get better photos of what the engine compartment looks like. It is in beautiful, beautiful condition. It's all painted again, body color. You'll see the tag that matches the actual body stamp. Uh, if you're looking at the engine from the backside, it's on the right-hand corner. Um, you'll see the attention to detail throughout. Everything is in really, really beautiful shape. We actually had the engine as our service documents uh, will indicate out of the vehicle. We pulled it out. We actually wanted to uh, replace the clutch. We wanted to kind of service the engine, do some light paint work, and just kind of take it to the next level, if you will. Um, so we did a really, really nice job when we put everything back, painting all the parts and doing all the things that we did. Uh, one of the things that I want to reference on here, uh, just because it's important to mention, a few last things here. Um, it is powered by its 1147cc, which is a 70 cubic inch Triumph inline four cylinder that was rated at 43 horsepower, 60 found, uh, 61 foot pounds of torque. Uh, the engine tag again um, on the vehicle indicates that the uh, stamp number was JK844HE and the engine stamp is JK124HE. Um, the engine was rebuilt 30 over. Again, it runs excellent. You're gonna hear it in a minute. The block was painted in the correct shade of black. It was dressed by the correct copper colored valve cover, the correct uh, valve cover cap. Um, it does have the correct Solex downdraft carburetor and also the correct air cleaner. We did order a lot of parts for this vehicle, as you will see from Gordon Imports, who I mentioned earlier is the leader uh, in the trade and so forth. Um, it does also have a Lucas distributor. It's got a German auto parts G Tex ignition coil. It's got the SureFlow, a diaphragm pump. It even has an Atwood SeaGuard battery case. The engine is cooled by a new radiator. It breathes through the factory manifold in a single uh, exhaust uh, system with a chrome tailpipe. It's coupled to the four-speed uh, transmission plus uh, the land transmission, which is all, again, incorporated into one deal, as I had mentioned earlier. Everything was completely rebuilt. The engine, the transmission, the whole thing. Uh, again, we even put a brand new clutch in here. The undercarriage is also super clean, super presentable. At the time of the restoration, it was undercoated with Lexan for easy maintenance. Again, the steering, the suspension, the brake 
braking components. Everything was gone through by MS Classic Cars and everything is in great working order. So that kind of concludes uh, my presentation of this vehicle. Uh, again, these are very, very rare. They're very hard to find. Make sure to do your homework, spend the time, uh, check out this video once or twice, check out all our photos, and you'll clearly agree this is a great, great opportunity to own something that is such a limited, limited deal. Uh, so again, I'm gonna go ahead and start it, let you listen to how beautiful it runs. Uh, this is not an ice cold start. It's, I would still say it's a cold start because we pulled it outside. It just took one second. We went ahead and fired it up. We just backed it in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it, let you listen how beautiful she runs. Before I forget, I will ask if you have not signed up for our VIP email blast, please do so. We have thousands of people that follow us there. We are on all the social media networks. We ask that you please follow us on there as well. I will say it over and over that MS Classic Cars, we are not a huge high volume dealer. We don't do consignments. Uh, we're just a small company. Uh, but we are doing great things, so please check us out. We appreciate you watching, so I'm gonna go ahead and start it and let you listen to how beautiful she runs. That's all there is to it. Runs absolutely beautiful. Thanks again for watching. Rock and roll. demonstrate here it's running so beautiful um, these wipers work great also the horn the directionals you can see here also here and then of course we have the headlights which I'll put on again in a minute but I just wanted to show that the dash lights are working turn signals are working horn works wipers work even the heat which you can't obviously hear in this video all is in working order. Just want to make sure we point that out, okay? Thank you.